in this question, we have a spherical drop of water. Okay, it has a charge of um, <clears throat> 30 picocoulomb. And then the electric potential at the surface is 500 volts. We want to find the radius r. Okay, so that's the question in part A. In part B, you will combine two of them and we will find a new uh, electric potential at the surface. Okay, so we'll be using the part A to find the radius, we'll be using V equals to uh, Q over 4 pi epsilon naught r. Okay, r will just be Q over 4 pi epsilon naught v. Okay. So 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught is 8.99 times 10 to the 9. And Q is 30 times 10 to the negative 12. Um, v is 500. And R is 5.4 times 10 to the negative 4 meters. Okay, so this is the answer for part A. Then in part B, okay, um, we combine two drops of water. Okay, so Q prime is equal to um, 2Q, which is uh, 2 times <coughs> okay, 60 picocoulomb. And then um, the V prime is 2v, so which means that 4 over 3 pi r prime q is equal to 4 over 3 pi uh, r q times 2. Okay, so we can cancel the 4 over 3 pi, and then r prime is 2 to the 1 third r. Okay, so um, this is the volume. Okay, volume. Okay, now uh, electric potential. Um, on the surface. Okay, is equal to Q prime over four pi epsilon naught r prime. Okay, so this is eight point nine nine times ten to the nine. Q prime is uh, 60 picocoulomb. Okay, R prime is 2 to the 1 third times uh, R, which is 5.4 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, and you calculate this, you get um, 790 volts. Okay, so this is the answer for part B. And that's all for this question.